diagnosis. Hey, everyone, welcome back to the show. Always a pleasure to see our next guest uh, talking about some new music and what's going on. Uh, Jen McPherson is joining us now from HMV. How are you, Jen? I'm Jen. well. How are you guys? Jen, Very you're well. responsible, and I don't want to make this too heavy. You're responsible for keeping me current. Oh, uh, good. Because <laughs> I have trouble keeping up with the kids these days and the music and everything it's, else. It's tough. Well, we have a lot of adult albums to talk about today as well. Adult? So. Thank you. Are you going old, Jen? <laughs> yeah, is that what she you're just doing? Well, let's start with uh, City and Color. Let's start with the music. So, City and Color, yeah. I, You know what? To be honest with you guys, I haven't been a big City and Color fan. Oh, but yeah, I quite like that. Now I'm kind of starting to turn a new leaf. Uh, Dallas Green, hence City Color. Yes. Uh, he's come out with a new one here, and it's... Oh my god, I just got it. <laughs> <laughs> I know, my husband did the same thing this morning. Oh yeah, I get it. Oh. Um, so yeah, he's actually turned it up a little bit, a little bit more upbeat. He's got lots of drums and everything going on in this album. But if you are a City and Color fan, you're not going to be upset. Yeah. Um, or rather, you will be, because it's very sad, of course. Oh. It always is sad with, yeah. with Dallas Green. I, I don't look like it, but I'm a hipster, so that's why. You know. Yeah, and you know what's so funny? It's like My mustache is on the inside. I don't understand why he's so sad is the thing. He's got a beautiful beautiful life, a beautiful wife, why, why are you so sad? Awesome. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> cheer up, Dallas. He really? really? didn't have music to write if he was happy. That's true. Maybe what he... would he write? Love songs? I guess so. I don't know. Okay, you let's go back to Arctic <laughs> Monkeys. So, I do like them. Arctic Monkeys, fantastic mm -hmm. bands. It's sort of a welcome back to the Arctic Monkeys kind of album. Uh, they did, 2009, they did uh, Humbug with Josh Holmes from Queens of the Stone Age. Yes. Uh, it was very depressing, very loud, yeah. very, very upsetting. Uh, but this one's a little bit more like their first album. It's a little bit more upbeat. I kind of compare it to if you took Oasis, What's the Story, Morning Glory, and Beach Boys Pet Sounds and put those two albums That's together. That's very nice. random. Very fun. Uh, uh, people, I, I, but I yeah. actually quite like it when, when bands take that little departure, yeah. go and do something completely different, but then yeah. it refreshes them for that, that yeah. album after that. And I mean, they, they got a lot of slack for their last album. They so did, their, yeah. their album now is called Suck It and See. So, uh, those guys. Dedicated yeah. to Lucic, well, I think. And okay, let's move on to, I yeah. hope I say this right, Tedeschi Trucks Band. Well Tedeschi. done. Kinda? Well done. Like Russian Kinda? Truck. <laughs> so Tedeschi's Trucks Band, it's Susan Tedeschi and Derek Trucks. They got together in marriage and in an album for the oh. first time. It's their debut That's album together. <laughs> <laughs> they came up with this 11 piece ensemble album and it's fantastic. It's got the basses from Allman Brothers Band, a bunch of people from the Derek Trucks Band. It's your perfect typical summer album despite this rain yeah. that we're having outside. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it is, it's throw the barbecue on, get your friends over, have some sangria, put on this album. Nice. You are your This is a little more adult oriented as you It's a little bit more adult to. oriented for sure. <laughs> and how about this one here? Lila Bialy. So she's going to be in town on June 26th for the Jazz Fest. She's a jazz pianist artist. She's had a wonderful year. She's yeah. had a baby. She's been singing background for Sting. She's just fantastic. She's from Vancouver. So she's going to be performing at Performance Works on the 26th nice. for about 20 bucks. It's a pretty good show. But she's actually performing in our store, oh, Jimmy Robson, for free on wow. the day. Nice. She has a beautiful yeah. voice. She's it's going to be great. Young lady. Now, I am a huge uh, fan of Jeff Bridges, one of my favorite Absolutely. actors. But I have not seen this movie, True Grit. So True Grit, right? The original was with Can the Duke. Yeah. This Coen Brothers remake. The Dude. The Dude. <laughs> the Duke so the we've got Jeff Bridges. Josh Brolin, Matt, Matt Damon. Damon. Matt Damon. Yeah. <laughs> Big Boston and, fan. Uh, it's, it's your typical girl meets bounty hunter. Bounty hunter falls in love and uh, it's it, it's fantastic. Haley Steinfeld, I believe, is yeah. the little girl. Nominated Oscar for an nominee. Oscar. Yeah. And it can't believe she didn't win because it's so, so good. Uh, now you guys have uh, the third season of uh, one of uh, the people that love it. Oh, they love it. Oh, this they is love a crazy it. I show. cannot wait. I'm going to buy it today. Yep. Uh, I watched the first episode last night. Already hooked. Yeah. Uh, I first saw the first two seasons, of course. Basically, really Brian cool. Cranston from Malcolm in the Middle, you won't even recognize him, yep. gets diagnosed with lung cancer and has to make his money somehow. He's a high school chemist, uh, chemistry teacher. Turned. Turned, <laughs> turned bad, breaking breaking yeah. into that uh, he, uh, drug dealing world. Lab, so, yeah. You know, and Aaron. Aaron Paul, who, if you watched uh, Big Love, he's the yeah. his little sidekick drug dealer in that one. So, and this have is one of those. this is one of those series that when you have the opportunity to watch them back to back to back, oh, so you good. will lose like a six-hour rainy day. Absolutely, like that. absolutely. Which is why I wait for them to come out in DVDs. There so. you go. Yeah. Nice. And Love we have it. a big giveaway today. Absolutely. What do we got here? Two hundred and fifty dollars.
dollars for a lucky winner, I guess. So what? a lucky viewer will win this, Michael Eckford. Uh, if you can name <laughs> three of the albums we talked about today, you can win this. All you have to do is email your guesses to email or urbanrush at shot.ca, and it's a $250 gift certificate. That's awesome. You can use it online as well at HMV Digital, so you can download all of these albums online and then get some more as well. Excellent. So, thanks so much, Jen, oh, and thanks welcome. to everybody at HMV. We're going to take a quick break. <laughs>